Well, this is Pastor Kevin Lindley with the Holy Spirit Chronicles, Part 60, Thursday, June 11th, 2020. Um, I'm the pastor at Winston Assembly of God, and um, you can see all of these videos on YouTube. Um, they're all chronologically there. They go back to the beginning of the COVID-19 um, um, pandemic and um, our stay-at-home orders and so forth. So I started this um, based off of that, the Holy Spirit Chronicles. But the idea is um, living a historical chronicle of living with the Holy Spirit. So that's what these are about. It's about the Holy Spirit. I'll go into more detail. Um, as time goes on, it'll get richer and richer. And uh, so um, enjoy. Tonight, let's dive in. I'm going to start off in the New King James Version of the Bible in Revelation 4, 5. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. <laughs> Lightning, thunderings, and voices. At the giving of the law on Mount Sinai, God proceeded with lightnings, thunderings, and voices. And the nation of Israel was born. This wasn't the only time this took place. 2,000 years ago in the upper room in Jerusalem, on the morning of Pentecost, there were tongues of fire, thunderings from heaven, and the voices of many languages, and the church was born. As the keyway, the doorway was standing open in heaven, and the command was given to John the Apostle, Come up here. The future eternal kingdom of God is revealed to the Apostles. Through John, son of Zebedee, this throne room event is preceded by lightnings, thunderings, and voices once again. God likes to announce the beginning of something new, his agenda with display of lightnings, thunderings, and voices. This is a pattern God has established when great there is a great shift in transition from one thing to a different thing. <clears throat> Let's go back up and read these. In Exodus, the nation of Israel was born. Exodus 19, 16 through 19. On the third day when the morning came, there was thunder and lightning and a thick cloud on the mountain and a loud trumpet sound so that all the people in the camp shuddered. Moses brought the people out of camp to meet God. As they stood at the foot of the mountain, Mount Sinai was completely enveloped in smoke because the Lord came down on it in fire. Sounds like Pentecost. Its smoke went up like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain shook violently, and the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder. Then Moses spoke, and God answered him in the thunder. Once again, the voices. Two thousand years ago, the upper room, the church was born. Acts 2, 1 through 4. On the day of Pentecost, when it had arrived, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like that of a violent rushing wind came from heaven, and it filled the whole house where they were staying, and tongues like flames of fire were divided and appeared to rest on each one of them. Then they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different languages as the Spirit gave them ability for that speech. Now, a new thing happens with thunders and lightnings, and the future eternal kingdom of God being unfolded through the revelation of John. Revelation 4, 5. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Four times the seven spirits of God are mentioned in the book of Revelation. Revelation 1, 4. Revelation 3, 1. Revelation 4, 5 and Revelation 5, 6. Each one gives another detail of these seven spirits of God. But let's just go back to the very beginning. I mention it because the seven spirits of God are the seven attributes of the Holy Spirit. Did you catch that? The seven spirits of God are the seven attributes of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> These attributes of the Holy Spirit are found in Isaiah 11, 1 and 2. Isaiah 1 through 2. Isaiah 11, 1 through 2. 
The reign of the Davidic kingdom. Then a shoot will grow out from the stump of Jenny, of Jesse, I'm sorry, Jenny, and the branch from his roots will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, a spirit of wisdom, a spirit of understanding, a spirit of counsel, a spirit of strength, and a spirit of knowledge, and a spirit of the fear of the Lord. You might have missed the seven spirits of God in those seven attributes of God in the last passage of Isaiah 11 too. Let me read it. Let me just list them. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of strength, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. That seven spirits, seven attributes that the Holy Spirit carries with him at all times. We're going to get more into this tomorrow. We're going to dive in deeper. I'm Pastor Kevin Lindley with the Holy Spirit Chronicles, and we will see you tomorrow on Friday. God bless.